Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Bubbo, and before we get the video started, um, I just want to say if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Like, go ahead and click that subscribe button, I make some funny gaming content montage things, so yeah. Um, but these are going to be my new and best updated OBS settings. Um, I just got a new computer, so I thought I might as well update this video since last time, which was a while back. Um, so first things first, uh, you're going to need to set up your screen as I have it here. Um, I typically use display capture just because it, it typically works better than game capture. I've had some issues with game capture. Uh, basically, to add the display capture, you just click the plus. You click display capture, and it puts your monitor on there, and you click OK. Um, now let's get into the juicy stuff, which is the settings. Um, so let's go ahead and click that, and it opens up this right here. Um, now the first things first, uh, this doesn't really matter. You're not going to be messing with any of these top two. So just go to output, go to recording, and here's what I'm currently running. Uh, I go ahead and choose uh, standard and it, or okay, advanced output mode and standard mode. Um, you can go ahead and put your recording path is wherever you want your video saved to. Um, I do MP4 because it works the best with most editing programs and it usually has a clean file type or size. Um, and then audio tracks, um, you can go ahead and set up how many of our audio tracks you want. There's other tutorials for that, but I usually use one and two. Um, for your encoder, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card or an AMD, click whichever one is your graphics card encoder. Um, the new NVIDIA one, though, uh, works really well, so go ahead and click that if you have a GTX graphics card or any form of NVIDIA graphics card. Uh, you can go ahead and skip custom Muxer settings. Um, now you're going to go down here, and this is where it really matters. This is how you're going to get your video quality and uh, your lag in-game will go down if you have your settings right. Um, so go ahead and click CBR because it, it will least affect your gameplay but give you the best quality and best recordings. Um, now your bitrate, um, this is gonna vary for most people. I go ahead and do 30,000 because that lets me play my game without any lag and it also records at a great quality. So I go ahead and use 30. Um, if you have a lower end PC, start with 10,000, work your way up, see what you can do. Um, and if you have to go below 10,000, your video quality might suffer a little bit, um, but hey, you're still making a video, so go ahead and do that. Um, you can go above if you have a really good computer. Um, I currently have a GTX 1050 uh, in mine, and I, I could go above this, but I just choose not to just in case. Um, your key fair interval, go ahead and put that to zero. Um, your preset, go ahead and put that to max performance so it works the best in game. Um, you could go ahead and do a better one if you want to have better video quality and you can suffer the slight performance. Go ahead and do that. Profile, go ahead and put that on high so your computer uh, makes sure OBS is a priority. Um, look ahead, go ahead and leave that unchecked. Psycho visual tuning, uh, not sure exactly what it does, but I've seen better um, results with that, so go ahead and check that. Uh, GPU, keep that at zero, and max B frames, go ahead and leave that at two. And uh, now we're going to move on to the audio settings. Um, basically, you're just going to want to put the, I don't, I have this at 44.1, uh, because at 48, for some reason, my audio glitches out a little bit sometimes, not all the time, but go ahead and try both of those, see what works best for you. Um, or if there's other options, you can go ahead and go through those. Um, for your desktop audio, go ahead and pick whatever you're using. I use my speakers, which is just headphones. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and put in your mic right here, the mic slash auxiliary audio. Um, I use this microphone, so I go ahead and click that. But you can click whatever is working for you. Um, the rest of that doesn't really matter too much, so let's go ahead and to video. Um, now your base canvas resolution, whatever you want to record in, or whatever your screen is, go ahead and set it to that. Mine's 1920 by 1080. Um, and then your output scale resolution is what your video quality is going to come out at. Um, I also leave that at 1080 so I can record 1080p. Um, for your downscale filter, go ahead and put this at uh, Langos. I don't even know how to say it. Langos, uh, which gives you the best colors and the best sharpening of the video itself. Uh, for 60 FPS, you have to have a pretty okay computer. Um, but if you need to record at 30, that's fine too. But put that anywhere you would like. 60, 30, anywhere in between doesn't matter too much. 60 just looks the best to the uh, eye of the people watching the video. Um, and hotkeys, this is preference. I have my start and stop recording at F9 because uh, that just I don't know, that's just what I always have had it at. Um, for advanced, make sure you have your process priority at high. Uh, make sure you're running Direct 3D 11 or whatever is newest. Uh, color format, go ahead and put MV12. And color space, go ahead and put 709 to get those full range colors right here. Um, and the rest of this does not really matter. You guys can go ahead and 
basically click apply click OK and you are ready to go and start recording some videos um, if you guys have any questions or something's not working let me know in the comments section down below and I'll go ahead and fix that and uh, yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one peace out